Alright, this is this week's shop my stash. We have made by Mitchell Feet on the Ground. And we had this one is Heading the Clouds. Color pop, so Jaden. This is like your Kathleen Light collab. I solely got this just because the crystal kind of theme I like. And obviously, we have Simply Posh Citrus Punch. I'm still going strong on this. <laughs> the shimmers, they got a hold on me. Be cool if they didn't like an all shimmer palette. I'd be on that. Then we have NYX Ultimate Vintage Jean Baby. Good palette. Now, if you read this, <laughs> there are some pigments that you can't use on your eyes, but I use it on my eyes and it's fine. Which is like 90% of palettes have those warnings. And I've actually had people comment on the video that I used that I did for this, and I'm like, just read the back. I read the back. We can all read, you know? Simple things. <laughs> but no one said nothing when I did this, this thing, and it has like the same thing. So I don't know. It says the same thing, face pigments, and like all these palettes have it, but you can still use them on your eyes. You know, you're fine, so. I don't know. Use it at your own risk. This is NYX Ultimate Paradise Shock. Because we're all adults here. And I even have my videos where it says, um, not suitable for kids. So, just because I do tend to curse a lot. Here's what she looks like on the inside. You're talking to someone who still uses the Hunna Beauty Neon palettes, okay? And I have sensitive eyeballs, and they do fine. It's great. And I mean, my eyes are sensitive because I can't use some Wet n' Wild palettes because it's, no, it's like pure instant burn when it hits the lid. And we have two e.l.f. palettes. This is e.l.f. Everyday Smoky. Reminds me of um, Urban Decay. It's actually what I got. And then we have Elf. This one is called. Where's the name? Oh, it's real small. Nude. This is Elf Nude Rose Gold. So you have a glare, you can see it better. And for our face base, we have, I didn't really change out, yeah, so you have Milk Makeup, Poreclus Mattifying Primer, Hydra Beauty, this is your water jelly face primer, Marla. We have Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter Foundation. I have shade 4, Warm Chud. And then Oma Beauty Sharing C Flawless IRL Foundation, shade Fair Lady T6. Still have out Holy Mist. From Jeffree Star. It is a soothing facial spray. I use it as a setting spray. I love it as a setting spray. It works nice. And we have e.l.f. Camo Color Corrector in the shade Yellow. It's right here product wise. And 
Forever Skin Corrector from Dior, shade 1CR, right here. This has a lot of product in this tube. I could probably use that for almost a year before I'd have to get a whole nother concealer. So I'd definitely get my money's worth out of that. We have Flower Beauty Get Real Serum Concealer in the shade Ivory. Pull out the uh, Chanel La Beige Cream Bronzer. With Powder Bronzer, L'Oreal Palace Paris Bronze Please, shade 3. I have a pretty big dip in that. And then for blush, we did Patrick Ta for face. And this is the Major Headlines Blush Palette with shade She's a Doll. She's Briber and she's Baked. I think I've used, yeah, I've used all these, but I used the darker side the most. But with the, doing the uh, Sunburnt one, I think I'll definitely be using these two sides a little bit more. And I've been using powder too. So, I'll definitely be using the whole palette. Then for sparkly blush, or blush highlight, whatever you want to call it. I have Too Faced, Butterfly Babe, which is this gorgeous thing. I had the palette, but the palette wasn't my favorite thing, so I just decluttered that. We have Natasha Denona. Duo Glow and the shade Rayo. Then for highlight, I have three different highlighters. I have Michaela Part 2 Trio Highlighter. Basically, blue, green, and like a gold shift. We have ABH Iced Out Highlighter. And then ABH Liquid Glow Perla. Liquid Highlight. Which is pretty good. I'm aware it has been compliments me. I think that's why I like it. But it also looks good on the skin too though. And then I didn't change anything out in eyeliner mascara bin so I still have the Ulta Beauty mascara primer and we're still going to use the ColourPop Act Natural Defining Mascara actually I think I'm going to change this out to the um, Elf Lash and Roll Mascara I'm kind of tired of using <laughs> the ColourPop one we still have the Tarte Quick Stick in the shade Rose Gold Luster and Brown Highlighter. And then we have Rim Beauty Tinsel Eyeliner. We have ColourPop Teaspoon Eyeliner, shade Green. Juvia's Black Eyeliner. And Essence Black Eyeliner. The only one I liked from this line because I bought two others and I did not like them. But the black one is good. And then I have out Nick or the ColourPop Color Sticks in the shade Isle Vista. I'm going to put this back up in the drawer. I've had this out for over a month and I still haven't used it. So we'll just put it up. Pull out the other stuff. Okay, so brows. How about CoverGirl? Easy Breezy Brow 24 Hour Brow Ink Pen. And we have Brow Blade, Urban Decay. I'm using the ink stain side because I didn't use up the other side. So I'll put this one up because I have the brow ink stain. 
And we have Bushy Brow from Lion Prime. And then a beach brow pin. These are close to being used up, so I have both these out. And then I have the brow brow stick from Maybelline Tattoo Studio. This is also close to being used up, so I also have this out as well. <laughs> That's why some of those are out. And then we have Essence Prime Like a Boss Eyeshadow Base. I didn't realize how close I was to using this up, so that is out eyeshadow wise. And we have our Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Invisi Pink Eye Primer. I'll put the Milani up. <laughs> and we'll keep out our NYX Glitter Glue Primer. And we have um, NYX the Brow Glue Brow Gel. Because I'm trying to use that up. So that's it for that one. Put these products up. And then lips. I'll show you what I added to last for this week. I added in the Lunar Beauty lip gloss in the shade Mystery. It smells like cake. Like vanilla lip gloss. And then we added in Triggered from Jeffree Star. So I have lots of life in there. And added in YSL shade number nine. Lipstick. Yes. So that's what I added to my lip drawer. So, oh. And then I put up, what setting powder did I have out? Let me see. I put up the Bounce Beauty setting powder and I pulled out the Laura Mercier setting powder. Oh, we have the Milk Makeup Translucent Medium, still working on that. Still kept out the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Powder Shade Sunlit. And our ColourPop Ice Dream Single eyeshadow. I have made progress, more progress on this. And that is my shop my stash this week. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.